वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन संकल्प एजुकेशन प्रथम क्लासेस आई एम सचिन पाटिल डिलीवर्ड लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फ्लूड्स इनसाइड विच वी आर गोइंग विद एब्सोल्यूट प्रेशर एंड गॉस गॉस प्रेशर इज देयर राइट नाउ वी हैव टू कंसीडर अ कंटेनर और टैंक टैंक फिल्ड विथ फिल्ड विथ वॉटर फिल्ड विथ वॉटर tank filled with water and inside this water we consider imaginary 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 cylinder cylinder with base area base area a and height and height h it is equal to x1 minus x2 since here x1 is greater than x2 is there and x1 is considered x1 is here and x2 is here and the height between these two points is nothing but the height of that cylinder is h uh, height of that cylinder is h now the vertical forces the vertical vertical forces forces acting on acting on uh, cylinder 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 r there will be first force is nothing but uh, f1 bar f1 bar acting acting downward 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 due to due to liquid or water water above the above the uh, cylinder cylinder that means f1 is nothing but this one f1 is a force which is acting downward on the above the that above that cylinder f2 second one is a f2 bar f2 bar Uh, acting acting upward upward due to due to water below the cylinder below the cylinder below the cylinder and the gravitational force on water includes the uh, gravitational force third one is a uh, gravitational gravitational force gravitational force on the water on the water enclosed enclosed in cylinder cylinder is mg is mg and uh, m is the mass of that water in the cylinder m mass of mass of water in cylinder cylinder g is the acceleration due to gravity and it is a, a balances and a, a, here to considered here this is mg it is acting downward and this is a f2 bar f2 bar this is f1 bar is here and therefore you will get the consideration of balance of these forces according to according to balance of these forces forces f2 is equal to f1 plus mg is there F two is equal to F one plus mg is there. What does it mean? First of all, we have to clear the consideration of F one bar, F two bar, be the forces which is acting. F one is acting downward, mg is also acting downward, and therefore these two forces acting in the same direction. And F two is acting upward due to the liquid or water below the cylinder. And this F two is balanced by these two forces, and therefore F two is equal to F one. F1 plus mg is there. Right now, let us to consider. Let P1 and P2 be the 
be the pressures pressures at top and bottom top and bottom bottom surface 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 of cylinder of cylinder top and bottom surface of cylinder and uh, therefore he had considered inside the figure is here this is the p1 be the pressure at top surface and p2 be the pressure at a bottom surface these are the two pressures at a, a top surface and bottom surface then according to uh, then according to according to a definition of definition of pressure definition of pressure we get we get uh, f1 is equal to p1 p1 into a and f2 is equal to p2 into a is there m is the mass of mass of water in the cylinder and therefore according to consideration of according to according to definition of definition of density density mass m is equal to density density into volume density into volume therefore m is equal to rho into volume is nothing but uh, cross sectional area a into height h is there and uh, therefore h is nothing but what h is nothing but x1 minus x2 is there and therefore rho a x1 minus x2 and this is your mass and those uh, these considerations are putting inside the equation let it consider this equation is a one and uh, putting in one putting in one in one you get f2 is nothing but f2 is nothing but p2 into a p2 into a is equal to f1 is nothing but p1 into a plus m is having different value is nothing but rho a x1 minus x2 into g is there and therefore you will get the consideration of p2 a is equal to p1 a plus rho g a into x1 minus x2 is there x1 minus x2 is there and uh, he had to get the consideration from that one is nothing but uh, a is a common inside the all consideration a is taken common here and it is a cancel to each other you will get the consideration of you will get the consideration of p2 is equal to p1 plus rho g x1 minus x2 is there x1 minus x2 is there and this equation gives the pressure inside the liquid this equation gives the pressure inside a liquid inside a liquid uh, and and also the atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure pressure and uh, you will get the consideration of this and inside this uh, consideration we have to take the cylinder below the liquid uh, surface of water surface of water right now we have to take these consideration at the surface of water you will get the different consideration and according to that consideration you will get the absolute pressure and gauss pressure is there inside this we considered this imaginary cylinder below the liquid surface right now we have to consider the top of that cylinder is uh, at the liquid surface at that time you can say that x1 is equal to 0 is here and below that you will get the x2 it is equal to minus h that means the distance between these two is nothing but h is here and pressure p1 is equal to p0 which is nothing but atmospheric pressure is considered here and uh, p 
2 is equal to later to consider it as a p that means at uh, uh, here we consider what let top of top of imaginary imaginary cylinder cylinder is at liquid liquid surface is at liquid surface and uh, therefore you will get the difference consider different consideration as x1 is equal to 0 p1 is equal to p0 h be the height and x2 is equal to minus h is there p2 is equal to p and uh, by putting those value inside this uh, pressure equation you will get the consideration as p2 is replaced by p and therefore p is equal to p0 plus rho g into x1 is 0 minus minus h is here and it is nothing but uh, p0 plus uh, minus into minus this is h h rho g is there and this p is equal to p0 plus h rho g and uh, this equation this equation gives the pressure below the liquid surface at uh, depth h is there below the liquid surface at depth h is there and this equation and the pressure mean pressure at depth h this equation equation gives gives pressure pressure or it is called it is called absolute pressure absolute pressure p absolute pressure p absolute pressure p at depth at depth h below below the liquid surface below the surface of liquid surface of liquid is there and uh, uh, this pressure this pressure this pressure is sum of sum of one p0 what is it p0 is nothing but atmospheric spheric pressure atmospheric pressure and second one is nothing but h rho g h rho g it is a pressure pressure due to liquid liquid at depth depth h due to liquid at depth h these are the difference between these two we have to consider the pressure p2 is equal to p1 plus rho g x1 minus x2 right now we have to consider the special case related to that one that is the top of that imaginary cylinder it is at the liquid surface and below the height h you will get the pressure p2 and this pressure p2 is nothing but the p and this pressure is calculated by using this equation p is equal to p0 plus h rho g where p0 is nothing but atmospheric pressure and h rho g is the pressure due to pressure below the depth h due to liquid cylinder is there and therefore pressure p pressure p is the sum of these two quantities nothing but a p0 and h rho g is there right now we have to get the difference between these two difference between these two the difference the difference between difference between uh, absolute pressure absolute pressure and atmospheric pressure spheric pressure pressure is called is called gauze pressure gauze pressure is called gauze pressure how it is calculated gauze pressure is nothing but uh, here p is nothing but uh, um, uh, absolute pressure absolute pressure pressure and uh, p0 p0 is nothing but uh, atmospheric pressure 
atmospheric pressure is there and the difference between these two is nothing but the gauze pressure and therefore from this equation from this equation first of all you will get the absolute pressure this p is nothing but absolute pressure it is a sum of that atmospheric pressure and h rho g that means uh, pressure due to liquid at a depth h and the difference between this absolute pressure atmospheric pressure is nothing but uh, uh, pressure and gauze pressure is given as uh, from this equation from this equation you will get the p minus p0 is equal to h rho g and it is this p minus p0 is nothing but a difference between absolute pressure and atmospheric pressure and therefore and therefore it is uh, nothing but it is nothing but a uh, uh, gas pressure and therefore you will get the consideration of p minus p0 is equal to h rho g is a uh, gas pressure where p0 is uh, atmospheric pressure and uh, atmospheric pressure with the uh, density rho and you will get the consideration of this gas pressure from this you will get the consideration of absolute pressure and gas pressure is here similarly you can find out the atmospheric at a distance d above the above the above the liquid surface right now we are going with a uh, consideration of uh, right now we are going with a consideration of liquid pressure sorry uh, atmospheric pressure at a distance d above the liquid surface now we consider here let we want to find we want to find want to find atmospheric pressure pressure above liquid surface liquid surface at a distance at a distance d from liquid surface liquid surface from liquid surface for this purpose first of all we have to consider the same figure that means you have to know about these two figures here imaginary cylinder taken inside the liquid here imaginary cylinder having a top at the liquid surface here we considered the imaginary cylinder inside the liquid surface and here we considered the uh, imaginary cylinder with the top at the liquid level liquid level at that time we will get the uh, p1 is equal to p0 that means atmospheric pressure and we find out the pressure at a uh, depth h and which is nothing but which is depends on the uh, weight of that uh, so weight of that uh, liquid column which is uh, present above the above the point where we want to find the pressure and right now we want to find out the atmospheric pressure of above liquid surface at a distance d from a liquid surface first of all we have to get the comparison between these three consideration and we want to find out the consideration of uh, consideration of atmospheric pressure above the liquid surface at a distance d from the surf, uh, from the liquid surface as a follow in this consideration we find out the consideration of uh, uh, first figure inside this uh, uh, your imaginary cylinder inside the liquid and uh, here uh, top of the uh, imaginary cylinder at a liquid surface and right now we are moving above the liquid surface at a distance d from the liquid surface and we find out the and we find out the pressure at this point which is above the liquid surface as at a, at a distance d is here we know that from this figure we will get the consideration of here is a pressure p1 here is a pressure p2 and we find out the pressure at this point is nothing but p2 is equal to p1 plus p1 plus rho g into x1 minus x2 x1 minus x2 is nothing but h is here and you will get the consideration of this one uh, similarly we can find out the pressure at this point is nothing but p is equal to p0 
plus h rho g where h is the distance between these two points that means top and bottom of that imaginary cylinder right now we are moving in a reverse direction above the liquid surface at that time you will get the consideration of this p is equal to p0 minus h rho for air is here because our imaginary cylinder is a present inside the air not inside the liquid therefore rho air into g is here and this is the pressure above the uh, above the point uh, sorry d is here because our distance from uh, liquid level to that point is nothing but d and therefore you will get the concentration of p is equal to p0 minus p0 minus uh, p0 minus d rho air into g is there and this is the expression for the pressure this is the expression expression for pressure above liquid surface liquid surface at height d from liquid surface liquid surface liquid surface and uh, this is the expressions which are find out by using th three different conditions first condition is related to uh, that of the imaginary cylinder is completely inside the liquid uh, in a second condition imaginary cylinder having top at the liquid surface and in third condition our imaginary cylinder completely outside from the liquid surface that means it is uh, above the liquid surface at height d and by using that one you will get the consideration of x2 is equal to 0 is here p2 is equal to p0 that means p2 is the um, uh, atmospheric pressure at that liquid surface p1 is equal to p because this is the pressure at a distance d or at height d from the liquid surface and x1 is equal to d is considered here and from this consideration you will get the consideration of p is equal to p0 minus d rho air because our imaginary cylinder is not in liquid it is outside the liquid and therefore rho air into g those are the expressions are find out by using these three different considerations if you like that video please subscribe my channel and click on bell icon to get the next notification related to mechanical properties of fluid thank you